We've checked our crystal balls and read the tea leaves. We see many snow-filled days and cooking adventures in your future. Making do with what you've got is all well and good, but sometimes it's nice to plan ahead. Consider this a friendly reminder to take stock of what you've got in your pantry and freezer, figure out key ingredients that are lacking, and then go out and do a little intentional shopping. It's also wise to brush up on general food safety tips during power outages. Here's a comprehensive rundown on that. Of course, only you can decide what you want to have handy for a snow day. But if you need inspiration, here are a few ingredients that we tuck away for a day spent cooking inside. Pick up lots of corn tortillas for one of our favorite breakfasts, red chilaquiles, chilaquiles rojos, above. After a brief fry in shallow oil, the crisp tortilla triangles are bathed in a red enchilada sauce and topped with anything you'd like, queso fresco, avocado, beans, cilantro, leftover pulled pork, you name it. We've included instructions for a jazzed-up store-bought sauce, but feel free to use your favorite or go homemade. Know that green sauce is good too. Renee Comet for the Washington Post. Styling by Bonnie S. Benwick. Buy your start a batch of preserved lemons, gather your best broth, and load up on Castel Vitrano olives so that you can make roasted chicken thighs with preserved lemon and olives. Your kitchen will be filled the aroma of roasted chicken, but you won't have to wait as long as roasting a whole bird to enjoy it. Deb Lindsay for the Washington Post, a can or two of hominy is good to have on hand anyway but especially on snowy days, when you want something warm, relatively quick and filling, such as corn and hominy chowder. Deb Lindsay for the Washington Post. One of the joys of a snow day is the increased amount of time you're likely to have at home. Put it to use with something long cooking, such as this pot roast with kimchi plus sweet potatoes. Just be sure to stock up on plenty of kimchi to do so. Jennifer Chase for the Washington Post. Food styling by Lisa Cherkisky for the Washington Post, now's as good a time as any to start auditioning recipes for grilling season. We're partial to stuffed beef burgers, you can make them inside on a cast iron skillet, don't worry, but we have loads of burger options, including ones without red meat or any meat at all. You might even make your own burger buns, since you've got all this indoor time on your hands. Deb Lindsay for the Washington Post, this bright and sunny creamsicle pudding cake feels especially appropriate for a day filled with bad weather. Make sure you've got a little heavy cream, several oranges and a supply of vanilla ice cream for this dreamy dessert. More from Voraciously, 8 recipes that add a little citrus sunshine to your winter table This rich homemade hot chocolate is the ultimate snow day treat 6 recipes to keep you occupied and well fed on a snow day